Hello everyone, welcome back to Conan Exploits. Before I go any further, if you liked the last video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, share the video, comment on what you did like, what you liked, and yeah, I'll tune my content to try and improve how you view it and how you better understand what I'm trying to deliver. So anyways, uh, today we'll be creating an admin user, we'll set a password for the admin user, we'll set a privilege level, obviously. We'll also set up a VTI login, this is for telenetting purposes, and we'll set it up to refer to a local database. This increases the security of your own network, and we'll then go into further configuration of the router interfaces by setting them up each interface. It obviously, we're routing. It will be in different networks, but we'll set it up to route from this to this, and we'll also do the same for IPv6 as we will do for IPv4 among other things such as showing basically what subnetting is all about so this was the previous network i'll zoom in into the, our area of interest which as you can see from the last diagram i have added these two circles that clearly show which interface each network is operating on and they also show what the IP address range I'll be working with. So this is the dot one network and this is the dot two network. So without further ado, the first thing we will do is we'll go into the router and we'll set up a admin user, a password and a privilege level and we'll proceed from that before now going to the network configuration bit. So if you remember from the last video, we had set up a password, which was, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I have to look that shit up now. Wrap compass. So let's go here. Wrap compass. And now once we ring, we want to go into a configuration terminal, and we want to set up a user. So we'll go into username, admin, password. We'll set up admin, pass password too short why is the password too short can anyone remember five minutes ten seconds anyways uh, <laughs> with that condition must be at least ten characters long so back to that now admin pass what let's just use admin password that should go and now coming back here we've created the username and we set up a password but we haven't declared a privilege so what do we do privilege privileges go between 0 to 15 with 15 being the highest privilege level and this essentially allows you to lock out certain commands from certain users who haven't gotten to that 15 privilege level so the admin should get a 15 so now that we're done with that coming back we've created that part now we go into our VTI lines remember that Cisco routers have how many lines 16 that's right transport we want them to feed in or out ssh information only so with that we check we want first of all the input and with input we want ssh we do the same for the output
So essentially, to have a quick look at just what we've been configuring right the, the last few minutes, we have the IP. We set up the SSH, we set up a domain lookup by disabling that, we set up a domain name at rap.hash-net.com, we set up an IP address for the first interface to be on our network 2, on our network 1 we set up the other IP address and then we decided to go with IPv6, IPv6 auto configuration for both interfaces. So yeah, when you see this no IP address, no IP address, this just referring to the third interface of the router. And essentially, going back to our requirements, we have set up an IPv6, we have set up IPv4, and now we need to enable IPv6 routing. That's the last piece, and yeah. Also, as an additional measure, we should set up IPv4 for routing because you find that these two ports, 001 and 000, will have IPv4 and IPv6 routing addresses. So, we need to look at the routing table and we need to make sure that it points to the correct ports.
yeah now so we already have that to check whether that configuration has gone through we'll go through the running configuration and we can filter by including just the IP ranges and there we have it we have IPv6 we have IPv4 for both ports and for both interfaces now in the next video we will look at how to route using IPv4 and IPv6 but as you can see with the green connections already we have communication between the two networks but since we haven't given any of these systems an IP address we cannot check whether we can ping whether we can send any information to and from that network if you like the videos hit that subscribe button and i'll be seeing you next week